After we brought you the first story on the effects of calcium carbide, which is a lab chemical used by fruit vendors and farmers to force the ripening process of fruits, we now head to the chemistry lab to do an experiment that will help us to physically differentiate fruits ripened artificially and those that ripen naturally. Jen Buru, a senior laboratory technician in the chemistry department Kenyatta University, takes us through the process by testing the ripened fruits for any chemicals. Buru directs us on how to do the floating method. Fruits ripen using acetanalamide will float. Calcium carbide is a chemical compound of calcium and carbon, which in pure form is a white crystalline substance commonly used in welding. What are the other right uses of this chemical? Calcium carbide is a chemical compound industrially used for production of acetylene and calcium cyanamide. After the brief experiment, we can now identify the difference in the fruits, which is now visible. Natural fruits will drop when put in, in water bath. Fruits ripen using acetanalamide will float. All is, however, not lost, as one can always detox on suspicion of consumption of calcium carbide. One of the major detoxifications in the body is water. When you consume water, it usually acts as a solvent for all the, anti, uh, for all the toxins in the body. That is why you are advised to take as much water as you can, on a minimum of eight glasses a day. That would translate to roughly two liters. Now when you consume water, it goes into your body, into your kidney, and dissolves all the toxins that it dissolves and then the remaining will come out in form of stool. Collins is a master's student and are taking master's in food nutrition and dietetics at Kenyatta University. I would advise people to ensure that the foods that they are consuming, they, if they can grow the foods locally at home, then the much, it's much better because it's very difficult to detect some of these toxins that are in food. Some of the foods that we get, we consume, are processed in a way that we would not want people to consume. The adverse effects of calcium carbide cause prolonged systematic failures like cancer, hypoxia, cerebral edema, and many more. Hence, good nutrition, healthy eating habits, and consulting a medical officer once in a while are very important steps to take. Fruits play a vital role to our health, but the use of calcium carbide makes them dangerous. Hence, there should be general sensitization to the public to prevent the harmful effects. Naomi Okere, KUTV.